This product is called the Gaff Gun. It's a tool designed specifically to help you achieve the perfect tape job every time. It just came out and I just got in the mail so we're gonna do an unboxing. So the first things inside are a registration card, a sticker, the packing list, and then the quick start guide. The handle. Then you have, I think depending on which one you ordered, it comes with uh, different attachments like these. And let me see what these are called. These are the cable guides. So they come in different sizes. As you can see here, the foam in the middle is a different width. And that's just, um, you put in a different one depending on uh, how many cables you want to fit under or how thick your cables are. So I think I got the set that has um, all the different attachments. There's the um, large cable guide, the medium cable guide. Uh, I also have this floor guide. So draw these right here. Then you have the tape adapters. So these uh, come in different sizes depending on the different widths of tape that you can have. Take this out. And then you have the gaff gun itself. So that's everything in the box. I'm gonna put it all out here. I'm going to put this stuff back. <clears throat> okay, so the gaff gun, the handle extension, the cable guides and the standard tape adapters. Now that we've seen what's inside the box, I'm going to show you how to put it together. The first thing you're going to want to do is select a cable guide. There's three widths of cable guides. There's a small, medium, and large. And I'll show you the small and the large. The biggest difference is that channel right in the middle where you're gonna run your cables. So if you're running three, four, five cables, you're gonna to wanna to choose a larger one. If you're only doing maybe one or two, you can uh, use a smaller one. So I'm gonna start with the smaller one. And the first thing you do here is you flip the gaff gun itself upside down and you're gonna take the cable guide and you're going to um, just drop it right in here. And like that, it just snaps in and you can see this is where the cables are gonna run through and that's how it's gonna organize it all and then the tape's gonna run here and uh, keep it all in one line. So the next thing to do after installing the cable guide is to choose a tape adapter. It comes with a one inch, a two inch, and a three inch tape adapter. And I'm using two inch tape, so if I take the two inch adapter, it should fit flush just like that. And so you'll take your adapter and on this roll right here, there's a little bit of a notch and there's also a hole right in the adapter. So you slide it on, you're going to have to press down this notch to get it over. And when you slide it in, it'll click and then that tape adapter won't move. It'll be, you know, stuck in place. After that, you'll take your tape and you are going to want to feed it. So you put it right over like that, that way it spins. You're going to want to pull a little bit of that tape out. And you feed it down through the bottom of the gun. So you're going to have to pull some out. This part's a little messy in the beginning. 
and if you turn it under like that, you can start to pull some of the tape out and the tape might get messed up a little bit. So I'll pull some out, rip it off just to begin with. And then from there, just align it on that cable guide. And what I do is I, I actually, well just for this demo purpose, I'm folding it under so it doesn't just flop around. But what you're going to want to do uh, normally when you're using it is, let's just say this chopstick is a, is a cable. So I'll put it down and you're going to want to put the first few inches down just like that. Then you just make sure that your cables are coming out from this side and as soon as that's all set, you're just going like that and it's going to put it down perfectly every time. So let's go test it out um, on some actual cables. All right, so as you can see, I have the tape right here. I have it pulled back, holding it with my thumb. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Make sure this cable is ran right through the middle. Tape down just the edge on the back side. Then it should be ready to go. Now, as you can see, this tape has slid off like this and it hasn't really done a good job of taping down this cable. I'm going to pull it up now and you can see, you know, it got bunched up here. This side didn't go down. Um, The tape inside here just moves around a lot and my main issue is that this tape doesn't stay on the tape guide. Now it says that um, it sh they prefer you to use it with their brand of tape called uh, Core Lock which apparently locks into the tape guide and I, you know, they say that you can use it with any kind of tape but um, I wouldn't recommend using it with any tape um, until I've tried uh, until I've tried the core lock. But yeah, right now, as it stands, this is probably like the fifth or sixth test that I've done with uh, with just this regular tape and trying to tape down just one cable, and I haven't gotten a clean tape job with anything yet. So what I'll do is I'll order some of the. Uh, the core lock tape that they recommend and, and I'll see if it, if it improves the experience at all. For my initial thoughts on the gaff gun, I'm definitely a little disappointed. The first thing I'd like to point out is the quick start guide. The quick start guide was not done very well. It wasn't that quick and easy to put this together. The illustrations weren't very clear and the descriptions didn't help as well as much as they should have. The second thing is that it takes a proprietary tape. The core lock tape I really think that if you build something like this where so many people are using gaff tape, you should build something that's universal that can take any type of gaff tape. And so the fact that the tape slides around on this, on this um, tape guide is, is really a negative point. Um, and now I'm going to have to go and order the core lock tape and wait and just, you know, just to see. And I've already waited months just to get this. So that was another little down, downside. Uh, of the gaff gun. Um, the build quality seems pretty good. The only thing that I'd like to point out is that this handle just comes straight off and it looks like it was glued on there. Um, maybe with, it has some kind of residue. So I'm not sure if it, it's meant to come off like that because this pole comes off like this and this was on here when it came. So I don't know if the glue just came off um, or if it's supposed to do that, but um, 
that's another little thing to point out that uh, that might be faulty as well. So I'm going to order the uh, core lock tape, see if it works any better. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go back to, you know, getting on my hands and knees and taping down cords on the floor.